So there's a section in the book called the 12 week year that talks about the emotional cycle of change. And I'm going to read this to y'all and tell y'all where I am in this emotional cycle of change. <laughs> so you have uninformed optimism. You have informed pessimism, valley of despair, informed optimism, success and fulfillment. And just to sum this up, the first stage of change, uninformed optimism is the most exciting. Why? Because, let's see what it says here. You see all the benefits of the change and none of the downside. So this stage is fun. You are brainstorming ideas and strategizing how you might create the new level of results that you desire. Maybe this is why the startup phase is so fun for me. But then after the startup phase, I'm just like, mm -mm. <laughs> which moves me into uninformed. No, it moves me into informed optimism, which is the second change, the second change, uh, stage of change in the emotional cycle of change. And so at this stage, it's characterized by a shift to a negative emotional state. At this point, the benefits don't seem as real, important, or immediate and the cost of the change are apparent, apparent, <laughs> apparent, counting the costs, right? Um, you start to question if the change is really worth the effort and begin to look for reasons to abandon the effort. If that's not bad enough, things get worse. So I think I'm shifting out of this informed pessimism into the next stage, the third stage, which is the valley of despair. This is when most people give up. All the pain of change is felt and the benefits seem far away or less important. And there is a fast, easy way to end the discomfort by going back to the way you used to do things. After all, you rationalize what wasn't so that it wasn't so bad before. So when you go back to the way things were, you come to a conclusion that, oh, it wasn't so bad. So I'll just go back because this is hard. <laughs> the valley of despair which I think this is a place where a lot of people give up and don't see success but if this is the stage of your life where you press through because once you hit that informed pessimism and you just like oh my god what did I get myself into why am I even doing this your brain is going to want to take you back you're going to want to regret regress um, there's something called repetitive compulsion I think that's what's called. I read about this, like put you in cycles because you reach these stages that you don't want to press through. And so the valley of despair is where everybody quits. So it says the valley of despair requires you to have compelling vision. It's critical. Nearly all of us have bad times in our lives when we wanted something so bad, we were willing to pay any price and overcome any hurdle to get it. And maybe it was your first car. Maybe it was getting that college you always wanted to go to, marrying someone. You wanted it bad and you was willing to pay the price of your own comfort to get it. So to press through that stage where people usually give up the valley of despair, your vision has to be everything. And so if you can press through that and keep your eyes on the vision, you will go to the fourth stage, which is informed optimism. At this stage, you like your likelihood of success is much higher. You are back in the positive emotional area of your of the cycle. The benefits of your actions are starting to bear fruit, and the cost of change are lessened because you your new thoughts and actions are becoming more routine. The key at this stage is to not stop. And then the last stage of the emotional cycle of change is success and fulfillment. At this final stage of change, the benefits of your new behaviors are fully experienced and the cost of change are virtually gone. The actions, which at the beginning were difficult and uncomfortable, have now become routine every time you complete the cycle. You build not only your capacity, but also your confidence. At this point, you can move on to the next change that you want to implement with greater assurance of success. Ain't that good, y'all? So in life... You have to know where you're at because I, this cycle happens all the time. 
because we're we have we're constantly changing and there are a lot of things that always have to change in our life especially when we're trying to change our life for the better we're healing from trauma mother wounds father wounds whatever the case may be like you you're gonna go through this stage with a lot of stuff you're starting a business you're starting a new job you're looking for a new job uh you are disciplining yourself to not spend so you can buy this car this house you're fixing your credit something with your children, your marriage, relationships, whatever the case may be, you are going to go through the emotional cycle of change because now you are trying to change something in your life. And because it's been one way, you are going to experience every stage and you have to know and become aware of where you're at because of course it's always going to feel good in the beginning. Um, Cause it's like, you're in that idea phase. Okay. I can do this. This is going to be fun. Like, Ooh, yeah. But once you start to implement the things and you go into informed pessimism it's like man what did i get myself into i can't keep doing this <laughs> then the valley of despair where everybody quits and that's depressing you hear that valley of despair <laughs> you are officially in the valley so you don't want to quit there you want to keep going to experience informed optimism and then success and fulfillment this can be applied to your life biblically. Like we can find scripture on every stage of the emotional cycle of change. This is why the Bible says, do not grow weary in well-doing. This is why the Bible says uh, he will keep us in perfect peace as long as we keep our eyes stayed on him. Be bold and courageous. He speaks that so much. Fear not. This The, the uh, uh, fear is not the spirit of... Um, Y'all know what I mean. He gave us power, love, and a sound mind, not fear. The valley of despair is where you're going to feel that at. <clears throat> Y'all, this book is so good. I tried to read this book a year ago, and it just didn't work for me. But now I'm just like, aha. <laughs> I'm in the valley of despair. <laughs> I'm in the wilderness. And I need to keep pressing, okay? Because I'm not going back to stage one. Let me get through the valley, okay? Because if I don't ever get through the valley, I will never experience success and fulfillment. Never. The fruits of my labor. Oh, these things are so good, y'all. I'd be like, if my parents knew this stuff and told me about this stuff, and I'm so happy because I get to tell my children about this stuff, but not only that, pass this along to other people, women, whoever that may be experiencing something and just don't know where they at in their life, the time that they're in, Oh, sis, you're in the valley of despair, and this is what you need to do. <laughs> Congratulations, you made it. This is the press through season. Don't give up. 